Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mushroom bringing you guys another video. Guys, we haven't done one of these videos in a long time, so if you guys want me to do more of these videos, again, the more likes we get, the more support it shows, and it tells me that you guys really do enjoy this content. So guys, if you do want more videos like this, please give the video a thumbs up. But with that being said, let's get right into the video. So in today's video, we're going to start showing you guys tips and tricks for Season 5 because there's a lot of new places to land and stuff like that. So as you guys can see, the new Viking ship, the new place up here is one of the most most hottest places to land a lot of the new places to land is just usually packed especially it's the, if it's the first city like right now there's a lot of people going right here to this viking ship area and they're also going to snobby shores because of week one challenges you have to get chests in snobby shores so this place is packed and my plan was to land here try to get a lot of kills and then show you guys tips and tricks on that so this isn't a live gameplay this is a pre-recorded gameplay and i'm just talking over it so guys i will be going through what was going on in my head so as you guys can see there's a guy over here I was just taking my time, you know, I wanted to take my time with my shots, he had no weapon, there was no need to rush anything, and I only have an AR and grenades basically, so now I gotta play everything far range, now I know a lot of people, when you have a shotgun, you can get a little bit more aggressive, but when you have an AR, you're going to see me sit back a little bit more, and that's because I'm trying to play things long range, because if I get up close to somebody with a shotgun, it's a wrap for me, so right here I start tagging this guy up, I could rush him and challenge him, but Knowing that he's building like that shows that he's an experienced player. He knows what he's doing. So you can judge people off of their initial reaction when you shoot them. If you shoot them and they build right away, they're probably a good player. If they build super heavy right away, they're going to be a, a very good player. So you're going to have to play very safe and play back a little bit. But guys, it, you can really tell by the first shot. That's all you need. Being a good player at this game is not just being able to build and hit your shots and stuff like that. You got to be able to read people good. So if you shoot somebody and you see that they react a certain way, say they don't start building or anything like that and they just stand there, they're looking around confused, they're probably bad. You can probably get a little bit aggressive on them. But these guys are good and it's a 2v1 right now. I only have an AR so I'm worried that these guys are going to push me with shotguns. I hear them throwing C4s and stuff like that. So you got to really sound whore and listen to everything. Like everything is focused on the game you're, you're listening to any type of gunshots you're listening to movement and stuff like that and you're looking around for little peaks like that like that guy was peeking just a little bit trying to see what i was doing he wasn't playing it smart he could have third person peeked it but he wasn't playing it smart and he just peeked his head up so i ended up picking him off right here now this this right here it's going to be an up close shotgun fight so as you guys can see this guy has a shotgun i'm maintaining high ground i will not give up high ground because if i give up high ground and he has a shotgun it's over i see a shotgun over here so i instantly rush over to it and i'm like okay now it's going to be at least a fair fight he puts a shot into me but luckily i hit my shot with a headshot 112 damage right there and get him killed and knocked out of the game so it really does come down to some of it is your personal skill but some of it is being able to read somebody and play it smart when you have only an ar and they have a shotgun or something like that i had to play it smart i had to maintain high ground but the second i saw that there was a shotgun down low it was okay to give up high ground as long as I got that shotgun and I was able to push off of that. So as you guys can see in the gameplay, in the background right now, I snipe somebody instantly. First reaction, instead of running down the mountain and taking the time to get down the mountain because they're going to res their teammate. So as you can see, I'm taking advantage of the new portal system that they have within the game. So there's these little portals around the map. You can actually walk through it and it lets you glide onto people and stuff like that. You can basically use it as a jump pad or something like that. It's really good at avoiding the storm and stuff like that. And it's also really good at trying to rush people so one thing that they added into the game they took out the hop rocks but they added these portals within season five so it's going to be a little bit harder because you're going to have people taking portals and rushing you so like in that instance right there say that guy was me and my teammate and my teammate ended up getting knocked from a sniper and the guy takes a portal he can get to me insanely fast which is going to make it really hard for me as a player to uh try to play a little bit more passive and it's making the gameplay a little bit more aggressive it's making people a little bit more aggressive and fast paced so it's going to be a little bit harder to deal with stuff like that um, But if you're the person that's aggressive and you're the one doing it like how I used it right there It's perfectly fine. It, it, it actually makes things easier for you So that way you can get to the other person quicker and it just makes your job completely easier now If someone else uses it on you, there's nothing you can really do but instantly fight them You got to just be ready to fight right away right when they do that So if you hear that noise get ready to fight and just get ready to win right here You guys are gonna see me miss a lot of my shots again. I'm kind of new to PC. I've only been on it for about a month and a half now so i'm still practicing my pc shot and honestly to give you my honest opinion everyone on pc builds fairly fast to be a good pc player you have to have a good shot like everyone builds almost at the same level on pc so what's different from console and pc is console players a really good builder can actually take you really far but pc if you're a really good builder there's a lot of really good builders on pc to the point where it's like you gotta not just
just be a good builder. You have to actually hit your shots on PC. Now, on console, again, you can literally build, outbuild the other person, get above them, and then shoot them, and then it'll be good because not everyone on console is as good as a builder as some of the top players on console. So if you're really good at building, again, on console, you're just going to dominate. But on PC, it's not the exact same because everyone over here, not everyone, but uh, probably like 60 to 70% of the people on PC know what they're doing when it comes to building. So as you guys can see, I'm rushing people. I'm getting aggressive now. I don't suggest if you want to get more wins, don't do this, but I'm doing this to get better because I'm new to PC and I always tell you guys, if you want to get better at the game, you got to challenge people. You got to get aggressive. You got to try to get to people as quick as you can and it makes you a better player. So that's exactly what I'm doing now because you guys know I am new to PC. So I'm working on my building skills. I'm working on how to get to people quicker. I'm working on my shot and stuff. Stuff like that and that's what makes you a better player it, i know people say practice makes perfect oh that's bull crap i just want to get better instantly that's not true if you want to actually get more wins at the game you're going to have to get aggressive and actually challenge people as you guys can see i'm doing duo solo basically i mean i had my friend host sway with me but he ended up dying and instead of just killing myself right away from the start i was like you know what i'm gonna play this out and it's okay to play it out and let your friend watch because it gets you better so that way you can challenge people and be more aggressive now when your teammate dies that's that's a perfect time for you to get more aggressive and challenge because not only are you going to get better at the game, but if you do die, your teammate's not sitting there waiting because no one wants to have a teammate that just sits there and you sit in a bush or you camp or something like that and they have to watch that the whole time. Now, if you're getting aggressive, at least your teammate's going to see that. He's going to have something fun to watch and something interesting to watch, so he's going to enjoy his time watching you. Now, again... It's really between you and your friend if you guys want to stick it out and watch. But my suggestion is play it out. Always play it out. Always have fun. Try to duo solo with it out and try to see how far you can make it. Rush everybody you see. As you guys can see, in this gameplay, I'm always running around. I'm always aggressive. I'm using launch pads. I'm using bounce pads. I'm using everything I can to try to get in front of people's faces and try to find people. Now, when it comes to duos, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of tips on duo solos. It's going to be hard. You're really going to have to sound whore and maintain high ground. As you guys can see, this guy was kind of bad. He didn't really know what he was doing. Doing, so I ended up killing him and I'm just sound whoring trying to find his teammate and that's all I'm doing I'm jumping all over the map because I don't want to just stand still I don't want to just be like him right now how he was just standing in a corner not doing anything because it made it really easy for a person like me to actually kill him because he's not moving there's there's nothing I have to do but aim at one spot one direction but for me as you guys can see it looks like I'm doing a lot because I'm literally moving all around the map left and right jumping up crouching here and there and it really it really makes it a lot harder for the enemy to hit you like I I promise you if you're doing moves like that it does look extra it does look like you don't need to be doing all that stuff it looks like you're just trying too hard but it helps you out a hundred percent it will help you out because you will be dodging their bullets and stuff like that uh, but now we're going to cover the last top 10 situation as you guys can see uh, i saw this guy bailing away from this fight so i decided you know what let me just go knock him real quick and instantly knock him and instead of thirsting him right away i'm just waiting for his team i'm looking for his teammate his teammate wasn't there, so I just thirsted him real quick so that way he didn't get picked up. And now instantly I'm ready. I'm ready for other people to try and rush me and stuff like that. I'm sitting here around this corner because I don't want to get too aggressive. When it comes down to a top 10 situation, a lot of the people are going to be a little bit better than the noobs that you see at the beginning of the game. So as you can see, I'm sitting back a little bit. I'm waiting for them to push me because once they get aggressive on me, I'm third person peeking this and then I'm going to see them and then I'm going to kill them while they're just trying to run up on me. So you guys are going to see it happen here in the next few seconds. Uh, right now I'm just waiting. It's okay to be patient it's okay to sometimes wait for the other person i'm checking out his loot seeing if he has anything special and then i'm going right back to the same spot and i see right here this is his teammate pushing up on me i hit him with that snipe so i know he's super weak so i'm going to get aggressive before he gets aggressive i keep high ground i saw him jump down Heard him put the trap down, so I'm being very cautious of the trap. And I see exactly where he is right here. End him right there, just like that. And I don't run into the trap. I put up this wall so that way no one else shoots me. Because when you're in a top 10 situation and the circle is really small, you got to be careful because the second you kill somebody, the circle is so small that the next people are going to be able to get to you insanely fast. So it's going to be a lot of like kill somebody and then you got to get into another fight kill somebody and get into another fight especially now that we're in season five of the game a lot of people that play this game are good they know what they're doing so right here this guy's trying to get high ground i decide you know what let me put this bounce pad get high ground back above him so that way i don't lose the high ground advantage on them and they're just spamming me all they're doing is spamming me with weapons trying to shoot down my four and stuff like that and all you got to do is just wait it out 
let them stop keep building as much as you can and hopefully you can be good at it now these guys ended up knocking me down luckily i caught myself on that building right there i caught myself i don't know why i jumped off right here i took a lot of fall damage and i put myself right in the center of their circle but when you do have a situation like this it's okay to box yourself in edit your way out and then start shooting them like i did right here as you guys can see i shot them from behind and now things get crazy because the storm is right on my back these guys are over here at my right shooting at me I'm literally one shot. This guy's right here shooting at me. It's going to get crazy. So I need to get out of here. The first thing I need to do, get the heck out of there, get in the circle, use my little bandages and try to heal up the best I can because those guys over there are shooting at me. And then this guy is right here on me with a shotgun. And also the storm is closing in on me really quick. So I don't want to be pressured and annoyed with all those things all in one. So I took the time to get out of there recover a little bit take a deep breath heal up a little bit i don't have any bandages which sucked and i see over here they're fighting i'm like okay they're fighting over there that's fine let them fight it out if i have a chance to get a sniper free sniper kill and knock somebody i'm gonna go for it but for now i'm just gonna let them fight we're in a top three situation uh i don't need to push anything that is unnecessary you know i just need to sit here remain calm and let them kill each other because then when it becomes a 2v1 or a 1v1 that's when i can go ahead and get aggressive my health is way too low to go challenge three people at once so i'm just going to wait it out check to see what's going on and as you can see one of them is rushing and i thought that he was going to end up winning but the guy ended up sniping him this is the same exact guy that i was fighting in the storm where i almost died and i had to dip out of there so i know this guy's weak i'm like okay this guy's really weak let me get aggressive let me rush him and as you can see he ends up getting walking through my ramp wall so what i'm doing is i'm just building heavy i'm building all around me so that way he gets distracted he thinks i'm going that way i change my route up and i go this way and i'm just building heavy so that way it, it distracts him it, it confuses him and he doesn't know exactly where i am but it turns out he didn't even come up here. He ended up jumping down to the bottom. And sometimes this will happen. If somebody doesn't want to have high ground, they'll jump to the bottom and they'll try to shoot your base out and try and kill you that way. So you got to really listen. You got to be careful and make sure that they don't do this. When you hear them pickaxing something or trying to shoot it down, that's when you need to get aggressive. But I'm really weak. This guy's weak as well, but I don't know exactly how much health he has. So I'm just being very cautious. I'm being careful and I'm making sure that I don't make any dumb mistakes. Uh, but the storm's coming. I'm like, you know what? Let me go get high ground, get out of here, and then I'll be good. So right here, you can see I got high ground. I'm away from the storm. Now he has all the pressure on him. I don't know how that sniper missed, but all the pressure is on him. He has to push up on a hill, so I have high ground, and the storm's on his butt cheeks. So it gets really hard for people in that situation. You got to just try to put yourself in a perfect situation. Let them deal with the stress. Whenever it's a stressful situation, get out of there. But guys, there you have it. The best tips and tricks on console for Season 5, or PC and console, it doesn't matter, Fortnite and general hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next video peace